earlier on City News, we introduced you to a whistleblower who claims that back in the 70s, young children at a boys camp in Aurelia, Ontario, reported being molested by a Basilian Catholic priest named Father Leo Campbell, who taught across North America. Tonight, the timeline of allegations that would follow Father Campbell throughout his decades as both a teacher and a spiritual leader. A warning, some may find the details disturbing. Hello? Our investigation into Leo Campbell's past before he became a priest led us to uncover a phone number in Nova Scotia belonging to a family member. Your uncle was the late father Leo Campbell? Yes, that's correct. My name's Adrian Gobriel. I'm a reporter with City TV. Were you ever made aware, unfortunately, of any allegations about your late uncle? Allegations uh, around uh, sexual assaults of young children? You're beating a dead horse here. This, this is a dead subject. It's in the past. Though members of his family weren't comfortable talking about their relative, this is what our investigation over the last year has brought to light about Father Campbell. The third oldest of eight siblings, by his mid-twenties, Leo Campbell knows he wants to be a Basilian father, an order of Catholic priests who runs several high schools. In May 1965, Campbell writes a letter to the head of the Basilian saying, I want most desperately to be a priest, to forgive sin and prevent sin. I want to be a Basilian to love. Father Campbell is accepted and begins his schooling. In therapy years later, he would admit that as a young adult, he already knew he was attracted to young teen boys. Lawyer Rob Talek has been involved in more than 400 legal cases against Catholic priests. And I've met some good priests, who've, many good priests who've done it for the right reasons. But, you know, there is a percentage that's attracted to that role that gives them absolute power, almost demigod power in the eyes of these young believers. While studying, Campbell teaches and coaches at the old Michael Power Catholic High School in Toronto's West End, where a former student tells us the soon-to-be priest would watch him and other shower in the locker room. 1974, Leo is ordained and becomes Father Campbell. He begins teaching at Assumption High School in Windsor. Redacted court documents include allegations of sexual assault at Assumption. And a man claims when he was a child, Campbell assaulted him in a field near the school. 1978. Campbell is a program director at a camp for underprivileged children from Toronto, where he is accused of assaulting a cabin full of boys as young as six years old. This is a young boy, and, and it sort of fits with Campbell's later known pattern of abusing boys as young as six. City News asked the Basilians for an interview. Through their lawyer, they declined. They also refused to answer multiple written questions about Father Campbell's alleged history. In an email statement, they admitted that the sexual abuse of a child is and always has been wrong. But historically, professionals, including the Basilians, thought, once treated, alleged sexual abusers could return to work. They had uh, bad priorities uh, and they made big mistakes. Father Campbell would also teach and minister in Detroit, Saskatoon, Calgary and Sault Ste. Marie. City News has obtained Father Campbell's file. It contains at least five other allegations of assault and even admissions by the priest. The Basilian sent Father Campbell for psychiatric evaluation and then allowed him to go back to teach children, including Peter Lucci, who tells us He's still tormented by the memory of Father Campbell to this day. I, I see him coming in, in, in my nightmares. It was, it was coming, calling my name, trying to, to, to entice me to come to him, you know, holding his hands out or his arms out like this. Tomorrow on City News, the mystery around Father Campbell's death, days after he started facing serious questions about his past.